Morning! Well, we've all turned up at the same time today. It's a bit dismal again. Um, we got that like misty rain, you know, stuff that really gets you wet. Everything's getting started here. Dad's on the TM. I can hear Emily somewhere. Where are you? Oh, she's there, look. You doing putting fan on? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Very good. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> See, I'm not up here for the sake of it. There we go. So we're just cooling the wheat down. So if you remember, when we harvested it, it was very warm. In the pile, the wheat heats up. So what we do is, because it's a cold day, we're turning the fan on to, um, to try and pull some of that heat out, basically. It doesn't warm up. What happened, Em? It's cold in your You're not supposed to put it in your boots. You're not? No, I don't think so. I'm quite good at that. <laughs> So I'm just filling up the um, mixer with rum, I mean molasses. So that was the stuff that Dave was making rum out of um, in the video yesterday, the vodka. Well, not, not the vodka, he was making the vodka out of tears, but this he was making a rum out of molasses. So Andy's there on the 130, he's just cutting the bands on that. Plenty of straw in the yard, which is what I like to see. Right, I've just jumped on the nine meter now, we've got to drop this straw spike off. I like to put it on these bales. Just keeps it out of the way. Not in anybody's way up here. Like so. We'll go and get the bucket on and I've got the mix to fill up. While the mix is turning, we've got these guys eating. Oh, we've got one. He likes the camera. <laughs> oh, and the lovely of the Aberdeen Angus. Looks like my dad and them are putting straw in with spreader bale. And he's still there, drawing up with teagle. And the mix is going, and I'm going to put some hay out. It's quite random, isn't it? Random? Shear bolt on this one, it's random. Yes, yeah, and so, uh, Andy's just done the shear bolt on this. It's not random, you got a wet bale, haven't you? You most away through it though. Yeah, a bit random. So Andy's just getting pulled up in the shed and then we can have a look at this shear bolt. So we have to do a bit of fiddling around um, because the captive nut's gone in this. But um, yeah, we open this up. This here is the shear bolt, which is sheared because that's its job. Andy's dropped some up. Is it coming out? I'm going to say normally get a bit stuck in there, don't I? I don't know why, but all the 13 mils have pretty much gone missing on this farm. Does anybody else have that? Like, find that, like, you can never find a 13 mil, a 17 mil, and a 19 mil. They seem to be 24 mil as well. It seems to be like agriculture's finest sizes. And um, they disappear. Probably being attracted somewhere. Six. What's that, Andy? 6 9, I reckon. What are you trying to say? They're in my tract. Is that? I think is that. Is that a little um, a little dig? Is it? It's the clutter tractor. It's a clutter tractor. Is it? <laughs> it's a get me out of trouble tractor. That is. I'm telling you that now. I can keep going all day. <laughs> That's what she says. <laughs> That's a Tom Pemberton thing, isn't it? Um, what are you say? Said last time it was all in a nice box in the tractor, wasn't it? Yeah. Tidy it up. Tidy, tidy. Come on, Andy. You're screwing. He's having difficulty. He's going in there. He's pushing out. So we've been messing for ages trying to get it in, pushing it, and it's not going in through, it's pushing the other side off. Can't get the bolt through at all. And he's like, oh, I've left this piece of metal in. So there's a piece of like a washer basically in between them. Five mil bit of uh, stuff in between the two collars. Yeah, like a little bit of bolt left from when it snapped off. 
We were oh, racking oh. our brains thinking well, there must be something out of line massively. Oh, here. Oh, normally it snaps in half, don't it? Yeah. Not in three. No. So in the repair process, Andy has managed to cut his finger and he is a guy who does not like blood at all. One bit. So I got him a, a wipe and a plaster. First aid. Train Joe. I'm gonna sort his job out. Show us your bandage then. Can't see it. It's like skin coloured. You know what I should do? Joe Seal's band-aids. Yeah. Business. We've got Halfords in the yards now, sorting Andy's car out. He has not had much luck with that car, has Andy? He had a, his windscreen cracked the other day, didn't he? And then he had a flat tyre uh, just last weekend. Cars, just money pits. Mobile tyre fitters though are like brilliant, aren't they? Just, Literally just come to your place of work, get the job done. Uh, I've had quick fit do it before and national and yeah, always been brilliant. Right. Couldn't recommend them enough, make the job easy. We've just had a lot of traffic here. Dad were coming off the path and they needed to go back there. I need to put a bail over there. It's I need to clean my windows. So what's happened with Alfred man? Didn't be able to fit my tires. <laughs> Why are they special ones? We're made out of concrete. So I've got Emma in the background, she's just dropping the 7530 off the mixer because Rippon are coming with a dyno, um, yeah like a horsepower dyno thing, to pull down on the tractor so they can um, recreate the fault that we're getting with the, um, it, it just, just running, running rough basically. So um, yeah, I had an engine rebuild just over a year ago and um, yeah now it's running rough again so to trying to find out what it is, get it sorted. So I'm just putting a bit of uh, hay out to these guys, getting rid of it. I'm going to do some vaccinating, worming, fluking, get all them jobs done. Isn't this bizarre? So the cows in this pen here are all at that side, not at this side. It must be warmer. Literally all nice and comfy laid down in there. And not one at that side. It's one thing cows are not daft. like. They'll find where the warmest places are to lie. Um, they know what they're doing. They totally know what they're doing. Right, I'm just gonna have a clean up of the yard with the scraper. Uh, it doesn't work so well these days, but I'll give it a go. And they're just coming out, getting the last few bales done. These are some big Herefords. These Herefords have got real woolly coat, so Em's giving them a little trim up. Do it, Andy. Andy, come here. Oh, it's brilliant, that Andy. It's better than the one that you've got already. Yeah. I hope they've not got lice. That'd be alright. <laughs> Do you fancy doing that, Em? No. No, I think I'll get a miss as well. It's alright for Andy, you can just wipe clean. This cow here is just worrying me a bit. Don't tell me you're gonna. Wakey, wakey. Hey. <laughs> you had me worried for a bit then, mate. Hey, you're having a good sleep in this straw. All right then, sorry for waking you up. You wanna just get up? Oh. Not better. You do have me worrying. Me, Andy and I have been sorting stuff out in this yard. Oh, it's so mucky. We just need to uh, to bed it up so we can get some cattle in it. Em's like balanced this piece of wood on one time. She says she's going to push them together. Yeah, I'm good. These guys looking all happy. Oh look, Andy's got his hat on. I've not commented on that. Woo! Representing. So we've got the dyno running. All right. All right. 
we'll just say it going now. It's got more than 50 horsepower. <laughs> <laughs> well over 200 on engine. Got over 200? Yeah, just at 180 on the BTO. Oh, did you? Yeah, you'll see in a minute. Yeah. Into the hall. Yeah, that's it. It's a big magnet in there that gives it a reading. So, Andy, it was 185 horsepower. Yeah. At the PTO. Yeah. And Dan says it's about 30% that you lose to the PTO. Oh, so that puts 239. 239. Really? I've done my maths right. Let me just double check. My math is correct, Andy! My math is correct! Absolute <laughs> beast! Absolute beast! Right, that means it's got more power than the 210. Uh, my favourite tractor. Don't get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> what a weapon, it's kind of good anyway. It's on it again, give me another run. So, after I was saying how brilliant it is, Exceptional it is that mobile tire fit has come out. <laughs> so um, they've got to come back out because I think you were just a young lad, weren't yeah. you, apprentice? But um, yeah, the scratch Andy's tires. So Andy, uh, not tires, sorry, wheels. wheels. So Andy's bad luck with the car now. Maybe that's the third one the windscreen, the tires, then yeah. the tire fit. Uh, that's it, Andy. It's good now. It's, it's good right. for another 100,000 miles. You're on it. <laughs> so Dan thinks that it is the wiring loom uh, on the engine. So it's fiddled with some wires and it stopped faulting. So um looks like we're gonna have to, a new wiring loom put on that 7530 to try and cure it and get us back to smooth, powerful running. Today's turned into a super long video. I've already done this one in the evening, there's more stuff to come. Uh, we're going to make a new cattle yard and we're put a new water trough in. Uh, there just seems to be so much stuff going on. Can't believe that the 7530's hit that horsepower. Fantastic, phenomenal. And um, yeah, so I hope everybody's liked the video. If they have, press that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. And um, yeah, we'll catch you in the next video. Check it out, business.